Happy Friday, everybody. It's that time again. It's tea time with the goddesses of Belly Dancers of Color Collective. We have our tea. Hey. And we got a new goddess with us. Yes. Take a sip. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a good groove right there. Y'all know that to Dow Jam right there. Yes, yes, yes. I am your sister, Adina, in the dance and in spirit. And I am blessed to be here with my sister. Why can't Ole, you're on mute. <laughs> Try again. Okay. Layla. <laughs> Layla. Yay. Wait, wait. I got, a, I got my bell. <laughs> I love ringing my bell on that. We are belly dancers. We are the founders of Belly Dancers of Color Collective. As you know, we've done tea time a few times, maybe, you know, maybe about six or seven times over the last six months. And we are a sisterhood who dance. But on top of the foundation of dance is sacred sisterhood. Yes. So today we've invited one of our new goddesses to the circle to sit and have tea with us, the lovely Vashti. Lockett Dennis. She came to us in 2021, y'all, when we was covered up like this. We got to know Vashti from the nose up or like the bridge of the nose up. And what we knew when we met her is that she was fam, that she was squad. We knew her energy. We knew her spirit. And we wanted to take a little time to just talk about sisterhood, y'all. Okay. We want to talk about sisterhood and then talk about the dance. And of course, put our sister Vashti up because she is amazing. Wait till she tells you about all the stuff she's on. Okay. So she came to us in January. Here we are in May having tea with our sis. So Vashti, welcome to the circle. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> We are so happy to have you, love. We are so, so happy to have you. So, Vash, how did you find us? Oh, my goodness. So, and also, I would say, I'm extra happy to be here. Literally, you know I had something at 7. I was like, I'll call and see if I can cancel it, and I'll, I'll be here at 7. So, thank right. you. Thank you. Um. So, yeah. So, I, how did, so, a couple of years ago, one, I remember saying, I am I need my tribe universe send me my tribe mm -hmm. and so one by one you know however it's been happening the universe has been gracefully sending me my tribe mm -hmm. so um then with belly dance right i've been doing something with some organization in dc never fully felt connected mm -hmm. and then covid happened right and then um literally so soleil i had done her online program and and, you know, we're both going to Tulum with her. And I remember, I think her mentioning that they were going to, going to be sacred dance. And I, I was, remember texting you. Like, it was a text between me, you, and Soleil. Soleil yep. connected us. That's, that's it, where it came. That is. And I was like, well, I want to practice. And she, I was like, when you, how are you going to hook me up to practice? And she was like, I can tell you exactly where to go. And as soon as she sent, connected us, I was there. And there it is. That's the thing, Vashti. You know, some people, many people reach out. Like we talk to so many people all the time, but it's not always like a one-to-one, -one, like a conversation and boom, right there. Like I, maybe I talked to you on Monday and Wednesday, you were there. And from the day that you came, you've been, you've been there. You know, Definitely. like you came day one and then you were just, ooh, I'm home. And we've all felt that, you know? We felt that, you felt that. And that's been, that's been amazing. How so you experienced her? you expected huh were you with what i expected so, <laughs> i do not want to sound cliche and like one of those woo woo people but i try to show up in spaces without expectation okay i try to show up and just say who what is this gonna be because when we live in expectation now you're creating this space for disappointment and all this other stuff so you guys were exactly what I needed and what I love. So that's, that's everything. Bell ring, hey. <laughs> Give us a little bit of a description about how you felt in class. So now that's funny because Layla, Layla's the one. She be watching. <laughs> if 
I hug her a little hard. Oh, so what you got going on? <laughs> so, but um, Very psychic that one right there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know, I will say that in all these words, maybe it's because of the space I've been in. So there's this shadow work that I'm doing mm-hmm. that has a lot to do. My shadow, my dominant shadow trait is imposter syndrome. So, yeah. So, you know, I, I walk around and I'm this goddess and I'm in touch and I'm sensual, et cetera. And then I show up and there's a room full of goddesses. And I was like, oh my gosh, are they going to think I'm a fake? Am I an imposter? Here comes imposter syndrome, right? Mm-hmm. And so I kind of tightened up a little bit, you know, because I'm like, it's a room full of goddesses. Good Lord, you know? And within two breaths, I feel like Layla felt whatever. I had tensed up in and brought me down. And then you with that just infectious smile and stuff. Now I'm just following you around like a rabbit, like, okay, you know, so only less than for two seconds. Mm-hmm. Um, and I literally, you guys made me feel like in everyone, it's not just you, but you set the tone. There is no competition. There is no looking to the left, looking to the right. Like, oh, I don't even really like her. It's just like, come on, sister, let's heal through dance. There it is. Let's heal each other. Vashti, you summed us up right there in that sentence. Because that's what it is. We dance. And a lot of times people will say, oh, I got to lose weight first. Oh, I got to do this first. It's like, no, you don't. All you got to do is come. All you got to do is want this. And it wants you. Right. You said it right there. Come on, sister. Let's heal through dance. Yes. And so no matter how old you are, no matter what size you are, no matter what tummy you are, because Vashti got some abs, y'all, okay? Vashti's <laughs> abs are on serious. <laughs> I want, we thank. <laughs> I want that. I want to be one of the other ones. I want to be, I want you to be like, Vashti got, got some ass. That's what I want. <laughs> oh, wait. We, we, can, we got sorry. the ass. You got the abs. <laughs> But together, girl, that's amazing. It's an amazing package of everything God is, you know, all shapes and sizes and everything you need. So that is great to hear because I think people don't know the internal dialogue that we all have. You know, we all have that crazy internal story that we're turning off and playing something else, like ripping that tape out and putting the real tape in. So thank you for sharing, you know, that vulnerable share. That's a really vulnerable share because who who would know this goddess came in feeling some type of way around us goddesses. And we're like, goddess, come on, come, come, come. So the point, ladies and gentlemen, who may be listening to us is Vashti is a new sister to our circle, but she's not new. She's new in time wise, but not in energy. You know, she's new because she came in January, but but she's she's home and she and I feel like, you know, that, you know, I feel like, you know, that. I totally do. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. And I'm so very grateful for it. And y'all know. The one time I went out of town, I came back and I was just like, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> like, I, I missed the whole week and I don't like it, you know. So. It's like we go through withdrawals. We, we don't have our infusion of divine feminine energy. It's like I just had to generate it all by myself, you know. Right. I mean, Where were you? To help me hold up the world, you know. It's well, with crazy. that, what did you, what do you, so far, thus far in your journey, what do you feel like you've learned about yourself through mm-hmm. dance? Yeah. So, okay. So one of the things, again, another thing, um, so I'm, I'm really, you know, at a point where, um, I decided to face my shadow fully forward. Right. Um, and stop fighting it because it was wearing me out to just ignore it or fight it. So what you guys have really helped me with is my shadow side. So the other part of that is seeking validation. And so I, I have sought external validation for so long in my life. And when, what I've learned is that when I dance, it does not matter what I look like. It matters what I feel like and what I feel like will just change what I look like. And if it don't change it for you, then that's fine. Because it's not for you. It is for me. And so now I'm not, you know, so I've gotten kind of out of my head, like, and now that I really believe that, and it's just not knowing it, it's feeling it, walking it, it has just changed the way I move through. So, yeah. Thank you. So you drop, you know, the feeling to drop into your body and Mm -hmm. let that thing come up. Now, guys, Vashti, I want you to brag on yourself a bit because we need to do this. Vashti is a personal trainer. She's fit. 
AF, okay? She yes. is no Guinea. She writes books. She's a mother of three. So this is someone who's coming, a Reiki practitioner. I mean, this sister right here is fire. Yes, she's fire. Just at, And even with that, she's coming saying, dropping into her body mm -hmm. and, and the, the magic of that. The magic of that, Vashti, because you can take that everywhere else you go. Yes. It's transferable. These are transferable skills. So you don't have to be a Vashti. You don't have to be an Adina. You don't have to be a Layla. You just have to be you and come in here and drop into this human experience of right. being in your womanness. And it doesn't even mean being female. We're talking about divine feminine energy. Whatever body person, if you want to experience feminine energy, you can drop into your body this way and experience the divine through dance and let the goddess dance you. That's what Vashti said. Girl, ooh, I got you. <laughs> Dance is medicine, and I think that it is such a healing environment. Like you said, Vashti, we, as soon as you came in, it's, our space is energetic. As soon as you came in, we were just like, yes, come on in. We're embracing you. And we do that with everyone, but you feel who you feel, and that is a fact. You know, you walk in there, and you walked in there without expectations, mm -hmm. and you walked in there in your space, and you walked in there, um, well, seeking to grow hopefully. And you had, I mean, we just had a performance. Yes. <laughs> what a brave step to come in and then jump in the shimmy mob with us. And that's what shimmy mob is designed to do. That's a great confidence builder right there. We did that dance what six or seven times, girl, you could say you professional. <laughs> <laughs> professional belly dance. No. Yes. Add that to your list of credits. Yes. I am a shimmy mob or I'm a belly dancer. I'm a dancer. Yes. <laughs> And so that's what's available to everyone. So we just came together to talk about sisterhood because that's what we sit our dance on top of, okay? As I grew up dancing as a little girl. It wasn't always like that, you know? That's not what I always felt, but I know that that's what I wanted and desired to feel. And so that's what we seek to create. So I will ask you this, Vashti, as someone who's new to our community, what is it that you think you need now? Like, how can we get better? Like, what, what could we bring? you know, that might add a different flavor to, to enhance, to enhance what we already do. Like, what do you, what would you like to see? Huh. We believe it's like, you know, you can have it your way. Like what? It's that's not a loaded funny. question. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm sitting up here like, damn. Like, that's and, if, and if you can't answer now, we can have an offline conversation later. But I want you to think about that because we really do value, yes. you know, the, the yeah. thoughts and opinions of those who, who come through our doors. And I appreciate that. And I will sit with that. Um, and I will say the difference with you all um, is, so I feel like I'm remembering, right? Like I'm remembering what it was like for the ancients to dance together, mm -hmm. right? And that's, that's very different from your typical dance studio. Mm -hmm. And I, <laughs> I mean, I love, I, I can sit and Google stuff all day. Like, you know, and I, and I don't know what your viewers or what they think that means, but just maybe, you know, and you, you, you guys do it very well. We have ceremony, we have, we talk about the moon. So really nothing. I just really enjoy sitting in that because I'm really, um, I'm really wanting to stay tuned in to what the ancients are trying to tell us or are telling us. They're not trying, they're telling us it's just a matter of, are we hearing? Right. And so I love that about what you guys do. It's a circle. Like we sat in circle. We were like, circle, this is sacred geometry. Yeah. You know, I really enjoy that. So, you know, just bringing that to the space, I would love to continue to see, you know, you do more of that. Okay. So Vashti's talking about our magic, y'all. So we dance, but we do magic because we women and we are creatrices and this is just what we do. So yes. And, and, and lady, did you hear she said we were perfect? <laughs> So we will quote you and put you on the website saying, Vashti said, we're great. And now on that, we take a sip. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Mm -hmm. So Vash, tell, I know you have a book that you are promoting. So share a little bit about your book. Give folks a little more information about what you do, how they can reach you. And then we'll, we'll come back to the things we do. So share, share, please. 
Okay. Yeah. So right now I'm drinking tea that I curate, right? So nice. <laughs> I'm into wellness teas. My husband used to get sick all the time. The baby would bring home germs from daycare. And I was like, I can't do this. Like, you know, men get sick and it's like, uh, like they're dying. And I was like, I'm no, it's like, stop. I, I can't. <laughs> so I started curating these teas. And of course, before COVID hit, um, cause of course we're not, you know, exchanging stuff with people now, but I was able to keep him from catching a cold for two years once I started curating those teas. And so, um, uh, so what anyway, so I'm, me, I, I call it my Miles Davis. <laughs> uh, so it's mm -hmm. lemon, lavender, lemon, and mint. Nice. Sexy. And so, um, but yeah, oh, so. I see not, we married each other. I'm drinking mint too. Just you drinking mint? What you drinking, Layla? I'm drinking hibiscus. Ooh, yeah, I like hibiscus. I got one of those too. But yeah, so I do personal training. I I, I lead yoga, um, yeah. and I I do spiritual coaching, wellness coaching. And the reason I do so much is not because I'm a busybody, but because I believe that healing should be mind, body, and spirit. Right? If a lot of times the reason our body is suffering in a, in a certain way has to do with our mind or our spirit, right? Our immunity doesn't just start with our body, it starts with our mind. Like, so I believe in, um, I create this like cross modular training to help you heal in whatever capacity, you know, there, there'll be times when I have a personal training client come in and I'm, I look at how she's breathing because I can tell so much about you from your breath. Mm. And I'll say, you know what? We're going to have tea today. You don't even need to work out. You know, I can tell from your breath, whether you're a person that doesn't know how to ask for help, mm. you know? So I take all of these, uh, these things uh, that I do and I use them to help create a whole healthy person. Um, I do Reiki. I'm a Reiki practitioner, um, which, I, you know, it's funny because I, I think it's a, it's definitely beautiful, but I know in this Western society, we, you know, they've kind of watered things down. You got to get a certification for everything so everybody can make money off of it. But really, some of us have been practicing Reiki since we were babies and didn't even know it, you know? So it's just whether, you know, you were tuned in or um, in tune with yourself. But I'm really excited about this book. So my first book is a book about my little one. Um, it's called Luke and Zoe's Big Adventures. And it was fun. It was a great book. But I wrote a grown-up book, you know, um, <laughs> and the way that it's called sensual living and not so sensual times. Mm. And I was very careful not to say and not to use non-sensual times because any time can be sensual. Mm -hmm. But right now we're inundated with a lot of things that take us away from that. And the reason I wrote the book, what prompted the book, I wrote the book in six weeks. I was um, being interviewed, I was on a panel to talk about spirituality and relationships and they needed an old married woman on there. And they were treating me like the old married woman, but I, I had to show up as the goddess. And they were like, oh, wait a minute. So yeah, but the conversation had kept going back to, I think I had mentioned sacred sex. And so everybody was like, like what's that? Yeah, exactly. And so, and how do you have that? And what I realized was that people want that deep connection and sensual connection with another human, but they haven't developed it with themselves. Yes. So I'm like, yeah, you're not gonna have that until you connect and get an alignment and connect to your sensual self, the essence of who you are divinely and how you connect that to all these gifts that the divine has given us. And I was like, so I was getting all these emails how can I have sacred sex? Help me out. And I was just like, you know what? Let's talk about how to be sensual, period. Exactly. And be connected. And so I wrote a book in six weeks. It's like, here y'all go. Don't nobody else email me. So. This is y'all's guide. This is the answer to everybody's questions. <laughs> yes, and it's got, it's got like homework in it. Like it has homework in it, whether you are, you know, homework you can perform alone. Homework you can perform with a significant other. Homework you can perform with two significant others. So. I can't wait. I cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. Those pictures of you sitting on the counter with the fruit. Yeah. Hello. Very I hot. Want, I want 
homework. I want to sit on the counter with the fruit. <laughs> That's what's up. Up right there, you know? <laughs> Listen, I think every, every goddess should do a sensual photo shoot. And what I plan to do with mine, I'm going to make playing cards out of those. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. You know what? That's something we could set up. We could set that up. Yeah. Look, look. And I have done my boudoir shots. Layla has seen them. <laughs> Very nice. I'm ba- I want to see them. Uh, we need to get Layla her boudoir shot. So, Bashi, that sounds freaking amazing. Yeah. When the book come, when will the book re- be released? Um, it it should be released towards the end of this month, but definitely the second week of June. Okay. Well, we'll definitely promote it and, and share it with our friends and family and our community, you know, and we'll have to talk about how we can do even more um, on this topic because belly dance, of course, helps us drop into that self-love for self. And so we're doing that, but to do it in the in the idea of how you connect with yourself and then how you connect with others, that's, that's a topic for Feminine Fire. You know, we can definitely do that on a Friday and do these activities it's Tantra. These are, these are Tantrika type things that you do with yourself and, and, and can expand. So I, my head is racing with ideas. <laughs> listen, Ladies. I'm sitting up here like, listen, for real, because I told you both, I had a couple of friends that were dealing with esteem issues or, you know, dealing with, they didn't really realize it was esteem issues, but dealing with guys who weren't really you know, about it. And I was just like, y'all need to dance. My answer when I started dancing with y'all is, oh, you're feeling bad. You need to come to dance with me. (laughs) You know, and I ended up bringing somebody with me, you know, Erica. And so literally like the power. Mm -hmm. So I really believe that as I dance with you guys, I started feeling, I, I, I know my Shakti is there, but then I started feeling her show up. Yes. And so that yeah i can't hear i'm sorry we lost you okay is she back Okay, there you go. Okay, I like you guys were frozen on my screen. I guess I was frozen on yours. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> so where did where did we leave off? What did I miss? You said Erica text today. Oh, Erica text today saying that you know she's been missing in action for a couple of weeks, and she's like, I miss my goddesses. Just exactly what Vashti is saying. Like basically, I need my medicine. Mm-hmm. So ladies who may be watching this understand yes we dance yes we have a standard yes we are artists yes okay more than that we are sisters we recognize where you are and we extrapolate the best from us where we are you know we have ladies who are in their 60s and we have ladies who are in their 20s who dance with us we have a range all through the walk of this beautiful journey of womanhood it does not matter just get in here. Don't feel like you got to fix yourself. Come in here because the da- the doing is the fixing. That's it. You know, that's it. So Vash T, thank you so much for this beautiful conversation. We are so excited to do what we do because as we heal and we heal with you, we know we're healing the planet. We're healing Shakti on the planet. We are raising the vibration on the planet. One hip bump at a time. One, hip- One shimmy at a time. One sh- <laughs> Is that like a bumper sticker? Y'all need to make a bumper sticker for that. We can do that. We can make some bumper stickers. We got a couple of things going on. So with that being said, we wanted to let everyone know our new cycle of quickies start back up this coming Monday. Quickies are our online platform. They're 30 minute quick classes. So that's a great way to start to engage us. They're online so you can dance from home. The first class on Monday, the 17th is Zumba. After Zumba, we have, and that's, we call it Zumba love. So that's, you know, so much fun with this beautiful sister, Demisha. Then we have Bessa. Bessa is like African Zumba. Okay. So the movements are traditional African movements, but they're done in an aerobic uh, setting. So it's a great follow-up to Zumba. Wouldn't you say, like, it's a really great day. So they're both sets of choreography by the instructor. So they really are just nice, fluid and movement oriented. 
they're, they're a lot of fun. They're a yeah. lot of fun. It's no, it's no pressure from either one of those classes. They repeat. Okay. And so again, they're going to run for six weeks. So that's Bessa, that's Zumba and then Bessa on Monday. Tuesday, we have the lovely Gigi who is bringing us a wonderful core focus class as we get ready for a uh, hot goddess summer that is coming in here. These goddesses are eh, 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 getting all that stuff together, eh, lifting, you know, all of that. Gigi, Gigi don't play. So Gigi gets us sweating in our living rooms, in our bedrooms, wherever you are at home, Gigi going to bring it to you. Okay. So Pilates that's Tuesdays at 15. Mm -hmm. what, what'd you say? Pilates flow. So, yes. Yes. It's a beautiful flow class. After Gigi, we have the amazing Nava. Nava, what she's going to do is an Egyptian choreography skills class. So she is teaching the skills so that at the end of the, her class is really exciting. We'll be performing her choreography via video. So we'll do a video montage of everyone in their Egyptian belly dance costume performing this Nava choreography. But she spent six weeks perfecting the choreography on all the dancers who come through here. So that starts on Monday. So Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, Layla and I rock it out every Wednesday. Those Wednesday classes never stop. They are like food for your soul. Ain't that right, Vosh? <laughs> exactly what they are. That we, we come in there, we shimmy up that joy from the soul and we just have a ball. So Wednesdays never stop. And that, those Wednesday classes are an hour. We are in person. We do have, we call them hybrid classes. So we do have an online component. So no matter where you are in the world, you can watch us. And then on Saturdays, we also have a one hour class every Saturday that never stop. I think the only time we stop are the last two weeks of the year, like for Christmas and you know the holiday time. But otherwise those classes keep going. So quickies take a short break and then they come back. So quickies are coming back Wednesday and Saturdays keep going. Um, this in two weeks, we have our Yoni love Yoni egg class that's coming back. So I am delighted to be teaching that an added piece we're going to talk about is Yoni steaming wound Just wellness for the hot goddess summer. Hey, it's exactly. Because the goddess need to be right. You know, she <laughs> needs to be all healed and feeling yeah, malicious. And it ties into this whole conversation. All that we talked about of that self-love dropping into really feeling yourself. We don't even realize how far away we've gotten from that. So dance is can be a part of your medicine to come back to that. So again, Belly Dances of Color Collective serves that whole goddess. Okay. The whole goddess. <laughs> so those things are coming up. Uh, stay tuned. If you're following us, you'll get info about that. So quickies are hitting starting on Monday. And then we have our regular Wednesday and Saturdays. And then of course, Yoni love Yoni egg and then hot God of summer on and the way. They have to stay tuned because we have some activities. I think we're trying to get into this summer. We do some really fun stuff is coming at the end of the summer. The last Wednesday in July, we do honoring the divine masculine. We spend all this time honoring the feminine and making sure we're okay. We also want to take some time to devote to conscious masculine, conscious divinity in, in our men and, and, and all direct our energy toward that. So we've done that. This will be actually be the fifth year for that. So this is going to be high, high, high. That's ritual. Like Vashti said, we get in circle, we do ritual. It's ritual dance, but it's powerful, y'all. So that's coming too at the end of July. Like Layla said, we got some fun stuff coming, y'all. So you don't want to miss it. Get in this circle. Vashti, thank you so much for spending some time with us, sharing some of your lovely energy. We look forward to your book. And let's let's groove out with Tadal. Hey! Thank you, goddesses. Thank you, baby. Hello. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Erica's going to be there. <laughs> Lay, take us out, baby. Bye, everybody. Take care. <laughs> Thank you. Layla, do that thing I love. Layla, do it.